teachers. My name is Teacher Lena and I'm back today talking to you about why you should not be an online teacher. Okay? I am an online teacher. I teach English as a second language online to people all over the world. And let me tell you why you may not want to be an online teacher. Okay? So you don't want to be online teaching if you don't like making money from home. Some people may not want to work from home. Some people may not like their home. Some people may just like to get out and like the change of routine and that's fine. If that's the case, then you don't want to be an online teacher because you will be at home a lot and in, in the morning or at night. So if you don't like working from home, don't be an online teacher, okay? Next, if you don't like setting your own hours, don't be an online teacher, okay? If you don't, maybe some of us might not have that internal uh, initiative to make sure that they have a regular schedule and, you know, keeping up with their schedule. Maybe you just, you just like for people to give you a schedule and you're just used to that. Well, if you're used to that and you don't like making your own schedule and sticking to it, then this is not for you because when you teach online, you can make your own schedule. You can decide what day you're going to work, what time of day you're going to work, what week you're going to work, if you're going to take a week off. I mean, it's very flexible, so that might not be good for many of you out there. So don't be an online teacher. Also, you may not want to be an online teacher if you don't like meeting new people. You know, some of us don't like meeting new people. Some of us like our same friends. They like the same people we see all the time. And they may be shy and they just don't like to interact with new people because of a shyness. Well, if that's the case, this is not the job for you. Although you can get over it and this is a great way to overcome those fears if that is something that you struggle with. So if you struggle with shyness and not wanting to meet new interesting people, this is not the job for you, but if you do, you will meet a lot of interesting people and you will learn cultures and share stories with other people about what you do during the day, what their life looks like during the day, what their uh, culture, what their food is like, what their crime in their city is like, what their city looks like, what animals they see, you know, what, you know, and you'll say, share many funny stories and laugh a whole lot with these people. So. If you don't want any of that, if that doesn't sound interesting, this is not for you. If you don't like children or if you're not good with children, some of us like children, they just don't really know how to interact with children. Well, if that's you, this is not the job for you <laughs> because many of the companies that you will work for will be with children. So that could be a, hind a hindrance for you. Although there are some companies that you can teach from that are teaching only adults or adults and children so you do have some options but most of the companies out here are going to have you teaching to children so if you're not good with children this is not the job for you okay because you will teach a lot of children and if you don't like to have fun at your job this is not the job for you <laughs> i don't know who you would be but maybe some of you out there just don't like having fun but this job, you will have fun. You will have so much fun. You will be able to enjoy your students. You'll be able to make relationships with your students. You know, some companies, it's easier to do that with than other companies, but you can make relationships with your, with your children or with your adult students, and you will have fun and share a lot of stories. And you'll see, they will become almost like your own friends. You know, and you, some people go beyond friendship with the people they meet during their teaching online. So it's, you will have a lot of fun with these people. Um, laugh, I laugh every day with my, my children that I teach online with. We, we get silly and we share jokes and you know, they just do the funniest things. So it's a lot of fun. All right, but if you don't like having fun, this is not the job for you. <laughs> but um, on a serious note, you know, you might like those things. Those things might not be something that would keep you from working online, but this just might do it. Um, if you don't like getting up in the morning, if it's a struggle, 
you might not be able to do this, but you can get over it. Okay? You can get over it. Some people are not morning people and they still are able to work. So this when you job. teach online, many times the peak peak times that you will teach are from 5 a.m. to about 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then you can teach as early as like 3 a.m. or even 2 a.m., uh, depending on which company you work for. Some people teach earlier than that. So you can teach very, very early in the morning. That's why uh, this might not be for people who are not early birds or just can't get up in the morning because that those are the peak hours. Um, and then you can also work many hours on the weekends too. Uh, people work on their Friday nights and on their Saturday nights. You could start around 8 p.m. Or, or earlier and go through you know 12 p.m. The peak times are from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then the, really uh, the times that extend beyond that can go all the way through the night. Many people teach through Friday night into Saturday morning. You know, they might take a break and then some people do Saturday night into Sunday morning. So you can get a lot of hours in on the weekend. That could be a possibility, especially for you people who like to stay up at night. This is a great opportunity to work at home and make some good money. Um, but if that is not something that you think you could do, this is not but a job for you. I, I was a morning person, so this was easier for me, but getting up at two o'clock in the morning was not a part of my regular routine. So I have learned that if I keep a steady, you know, the same schedule of getting up at two o'clock or 2.30 in the morning, then my body gets used to it. But you have to remember, your body also will need to go to bed earlier too. <laughs> so if it comes seven o'clock and you're wondering why you can't keep your eyes open, well, it's because you need to go to bed. But, you know, there's ways to get around it. You can get around it if you really want it, okay? So you can take naps during the day. You can work at night. Sometimes people are able to get more classes at night instead of in the morning. So there are ways around that too, all right? Um, and you need to be proficient, skilled at, competent with a computer. If you are not proficient, skilled at, and competent with a computer, then this is not the job for you, okay? You have to be able to troubleshoot. You have to be able to figure out what the problem is if nobody else is around, because this is you, this is your job, and you might not have the IT guy around to tell you why your computer is not booting up or why you can't get on a website or you know what's happening you've got to be able to go through and know how your way around the computer and know what to do so you need to be careful and know that you are competent and confident with the computer because while you're teaching someone you need to be able to look like you are comfortable and at ease in what you're doing but if you're worrying about what's happening with your computer then it's not going to work so be proficient with the computer if you can't it's not the job for you okay you also need to be flexible, flexible, <laughs> because things can happen in your class that you just don't expect. I mean, this happens with any teaching job, right? Things can happen. You know, somebody, they might not show up. Well, if that really worries you or concerns you, and if it's going to make you, you know, get upset, then this is not for you. Or if a child just won't talk to you, you know, that could happen too. If that happens, and you just don't know what to do and you get worried and concerned, then it's not the job for you. Or if you have a, a child who cries for the whole time, it might not be the most comfortable thing, but you have to be able to work through that, okay? Or if people just don't show up for your class. You know, if you are the type of person who needs to have things that are very consistent and always the same, then this is not the job for you because things will happen that you have to be flexible with. So. If you're not flexible, this is not the job for you. But let me just reiterate, if you like to have fun, if you like to meet interesting people from all around the world, this is the job for you because you will be able to do it. You'll be able to meet people and learn about what their day looks like, what it's like to live in their city, what they do for fun, what they can't do for fun. You know, it's interesting to learn all those different things if you want a job like this and you would be able to earn a good income being able to do it a great income doing this so 
if you're looking for extra money or if you're looking for uh, work from home at a, you know, for full-time hours, you could do it. This is the job for you. It's great. I love it. I've been doing it now. I'd love to help other people be able to do it if you're interested because I think it's a wonderful opportunity. This computer has opened the door for us or being online has opened the door for us for, for doing so many things all over the world. So it is great to have this opportunity and to take advantage of it. So please, if you want to learn more, I can help you. And if you want to have fun, I can help you with this. But just keep in mind that you may need, many times you will need to have a bachelor's degree. There are some companies where you don't need to have a bachelor's degree and I will connect and help you with finding those uh, different companies because I do know about many of them. Um, but for many of the companies, they are looking for bachelor's degrees. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, you can have a TESOL, T-E-S-O-L, certificate or a TEFL, T-E-F-L, certificate. These are uh, certificates that say that you have studied and know, you know some basics for teaching people how to speak English, how to learn it, uh, another language. So you could get these for, you know, not by not paying too much online, but you will have to think about that because many, many companies require that you have it. Many um, countries, especially China, are really make sure that their teachers have it. So that's something to keep in mind you will need. You will need stable internet connection. You can't have something that's not high speed. You can't have a computer that will not be able to keep up with the different apps that you will need when you're teaching online. So those are some things to keep in mind if you want to do this, but if you do do it, it is a wonderful opportunity and I would help you with it. And I hope that you do take it to a lot of fun.